cereal with the sweetening already on it, Kellogg's Corn Pops! Kellogg's Corn Pops bring you Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. Out across the frontiers of the early West came the pioneers, intent on building new peaceful homes for their families in the land of the buffalo and the Indian. But always with them came the riffraff, gamblers, and gunmen. It was a constant fight between good and evil, a fight that often broke into open warfare. And into this conflict, always on the side of law and order, rode the greatest fighter of them all, scout, sharpshooter, United States Marshal... Wild Bill Hickok. Early one afternoon, on a new assignment, Wild Bill rode a trail into the fertile Bitter Creek Valley. By his side, as always, was his faithful deputy and companion, Jingles. Well, there's the town of Bitter Creek, Jingles. Only a couple of more miles. Well, what I want to know is, what's going to happen when we get there? You know as much as I do. Mayor Fogarty of Bitter Creek wrote the government saying there there was plenty of trouble and the marshal was needed. And, of course, they had to send you. You still have time to turn back if you want to. Oh, you know I can't do that. I'm hungry. It's half past dinner time and I still ain't had no breakfast. Always thinking of your stomach, aren't you? Well, my stomach's bigger than yours. I could eat a running steer horns and all. (laughs) You know, just to look at it, there's nothing wrong with this valley, Jingles. Plenty of good grazing. Hey, 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 Bill, that that sure don't sound like mine blasting. It's not. Notice how they're cutting through that rocky hill? Well, sure enough, blasting for a right-of-way. Hey, it means they're building a railroad spur into this valley. Just about the best thing that could happen to the ranchers. Look out! Jingles, right above us! Avalanche coming! Look out, Jingles! Right! Hey, 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 hey! That was too close, Bill. Just way too darn close. Another second and we'd have been buried. Oh, when I find out who set off that blast, I'm going to stomp him silly. Hey, down there. You all right? We live through it. Get down here, mister, and who do you think you are? Well, I'll tell you in a minute. Just, just let me get my breath. I'm Ed Johnson, railroad foreman. Hope you're not her. Well, we ain't, but somebody's going to be as soon as I get out of this saddle. Hold it, Jingles. Let Johnson explain. Well, I, I don't know what happened. We we're clearing the right of way, but that blast went off way ahead of time. I can't understand it. Oh, you can't, huh? Let him finish, Jingles. Maybe it was an accident. Yeah. Now, who's that coming? Oh, that's Sam Cox. He's a cattle man. Owns the Circle C over west. Oh, come on, bro. Still at it, are you, Johnson? Now, hold on, Mr. Cox. This is between me and these two men. It's between you and every rancher in this valley. This ain't the first time it's happened. I know that. See here, Mr. Cox, accidents are bound to happen. Yeah, like the one yesterday and the day before. You and your railroad gang blasting and killing innocent people. I can't account for what's happened any more than you can. But we're here to build a railroad, and that's all. And deliberately kill everybody that gets in your way. Yeah, and what about us? Uh, Shut up, you. Huh? Well, Johnson, you've come as far as you're gonna go. Just what do you mean by that? I mean you've done your last killing. All right, Cox. If that's how you want it... It's just what I want. Stay away from that gun. What? What? I didn't even see you draw. Well, you never saw Nat Winkett's eye either, only it happens and just as fast. <laughs> I'd advise you two saddle tramps to drift out of this valley. This ain't your business. The railroad gangs had their way long enough. Maybe. But there's going to be no more killing if I can help it. Mm. Who are you? James Butler Hickok. Your new United States Marshal. Only most folks call him Wild Bill Hickok. Wild Bill. A name doesn't matter. Well, Mr. Hickok, I guess I'm as surprised as Cox is, but I'm mighty glad you've come. Now, maybe we can get to the bottom of this. I intend to. Right now, Mr. Cox is taking me into Bitter Creek to see Mayor Fogarty. And if anybody's got any ideas about shooting, forget them.
Mayor Fogarty, this fellow says he's the new marshal. Wild Bill Hickok. Hickok? I sure didn't think they'd send you. Glad to meet you, Mayor. And this overgrown cowpoke is my partner, Jingles. Well, howdy, Mr. Mayor. Howdy. He got a taste of what's happening, Mayor, not an hour ago. I'll tell it, Cox. It's about the railroad spur coming in. The ranches are fighting mad. Well, don't make sense. A railroad brings law and order. Better market for their cattle, land values go up. I know. But it's the way the railroad's going about coming in. Without regard for life or property. They already blasted the life out of three ranchers. Important people, Mr. Hickok, with families. Feelings running high. There's going to be a first-class war if somebody doesn't stop it. Mayor, uh, just who were these men that were killed? All big ranchers. First was Jim Turner three weeks ago. Rock slide caught him in a canyon. Art Wheeler got it the same way. And yesterday, a premature blast killed Matt Parker. His wife, Ma Parker, is out at the MP ranch, all alone now. We'll have a look around. Oh, Mr. Hickok, I've had an office rigged up for the new marshal. First building past the feed store. You and your deputy can bunk there. Well, we could uh, camp out. Certainly not. He'd be much better off in this office. Much better off. Come along, I'll show it to you. All right. Come on, Jingles. I'd rather look at a good place to eat. trouble, Mozo. We get a marshal down here, and it turns out to be Wild Bill Hickok. That's bad? Mm, sure, it's bad, you chowderhead. Just when we got a war started between the ranchers and the railroad, this has to happen. We got the ranchers scared. They're starting to sell out for next to nothing. And along comes the greatest troubleshooter in the West. What do we do now? Get out? No, we don't get out. The boss is out to get every acre in this valley one way or another. And if Wild Bill Hickok gets in the way... He's liable to find himself in real big trouble. Howdy, partners. This is Panhandle Jim, and we're sure getting a real lot of enjoyment out of this Wild Bill Hickok show, aren't we? Now, in my left hand, I'm holding a big box of Kellogg's Corn Pops... And with my right hand, I'm digging in. Now, you rangers who have corn pops in the pantry, go out and get them right now. I want to have a little gab fest with you young'uns who haven't tasted Kellogg's corn pops yet. Here's what you're missing. Corn pops are golden hearts of corn, all popped up big and sassy. They're crisp and crunchy, and listen to this. They're already sweetened for you. Eat them right out of the box, or for some real chow at breakfast, in a bowl with milk. No sugar needed, mind you. The sweetening's already there. Your partner back with the corn pops yet? Good. Ask him for a handful. Now, how's that for a treat? Ever taste anything as downright good as Kellogg's corn pops? Now, tomorrow, sure, you'll want to saddle up and ride for the store. Load up on Kellogg's Corn Pops, so you'll have plenty around for breakfast and snacks. Now, listen to this little saying I always use. Kids love pops, moms love pops, and pops love pops. Now, let's sit back and see what all the shooting's about. Now, here are Wild Bill Hickok and his pal Jingles as they ride into the railroad construction camp, center of the war between the railroad and the ranchers. The men are working awful late. They'll keep at it till dark. Hey, did you notice they're all wearing guns? Yeah, just in case the ranchers come call them. Let's cross the tracks here. Go on, boy, go on. Now, there ain't nothing gonna hurt you. Holy jumping wash hoppers off the track, Bill! <laughs> That engine isn't moving, Jingles. Whoa, settle down, you hammer-headed crow bait. Now, whoa, whoa. Now, what's that whistling about? I think we better have a look in the engine cab and find out. <laughs> come on, come on, boy. Get over there, boy. Ooh, come on, now. Easy. Hi there, mister. Well, hello there, Sonny. I didn't know they grew engineers your size. Oh, I'm grown up. I'm ten years old. Ah, so is you causing all that ruckus. Well, don't blow it again now. I'm Jerry Johnson. My dad's the foreman of the railroad crew. Uh-huh. Him and us had an interesting meeting this afternoon. Well, hello there. Well, evening to you, Mr. Johnson. Evening. Oh, Jingles, Mr. Hickok. Hi. 
Jerry, this is Jingles and Wild Bill Hickok. Wild Bill? Gee. <laughs> 